Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby. Thank you so much for watching my vlogs. Today, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with my first day of classes, first day of school vibes. Um, I might continue on to tomorrow as well because the way it works at semester at C, you have A days and B days. So I'm gonna have my first set of classes today and then tomorrow I'm also gonna have new classes. So I think I'm gonna do two days. I'm gonna show you both my A day and my B day. Um, I'm gonna sit down because guys, it is like moving we started to move I did a embarkation vlog and as you guys saw that vlog was just filled with so many emotions um, and yesterday everyone was sick on the ship every single person was sick and I personally was sick I actually did throw up twice um, I'm not gonna talk about it because I know a lot of people might be grossed out by that but everyone was sick we were moving so fast and there were so many waves and it was just so hot in here and we have to wear a mask everywhere we go so I think that's why like a lot of people just aren't feeling well if we didn't have to wear a mask I feel like it'd be so much better because we just get so much more air the masks are really a necessity because we need to stay safe so that we can continue our voyage so of course we're wearing it whenever we are supposed to the only times that we're allowed to take off the mask are eating and in our dorms so like in our dorms in our like cabins I should say so yeah but then I put on this like patch behind my ear and honestly it did help a lot like I woke up this morning I feel fine I got breakfast and I went to the store so I'm gonna show you guys that footage of the store the line was so long, but luckily there was a volcano eruption happening at 7 a.m. And the captain last night told us, if you guys want to see the volcano erupt, then wake up at 7 a.m. and you'll see it. So we did. We went out and we got to see the volcano erupt, which was so cool. There was like lava coming down. But um, if it wasn't for the volcano, I wouldn't have been up that early. So then we saw the volcano, we got breakfast, and then at 7.30, we headed over to the ship store and we were like the 20th person in line. So I got everything I wanted, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got after I show you guys the footage of the store. of my floor here because we have this window so it's like really nice natural lighting it wasn't that expensive for everything i got i'm just gonna be transparent it was 180 dollars for everything the hoodies were 32 dollars um the t-shirts were around like 18 dollars the map itself was 10 dollars and the jersey was 50 so let me show you guys so before coming on the voyage i didn't buy anything that said sass on it because one i was like well if it doesn't happen that's really sad and then two um i just i just wanted to wait until i got here because i knew the store would have so much more the csu bookstore only has two things online so it's not a lot of options so first i got this really cute spirit hoodie it says semester at sea on the back and then this it's like the jersey um i got it in a size small i also got like all the sizes i wanted because i was literally the 20th person in line so that was like the best thing ever so this is super cute okay and then i got something you guys are gonna freak out about i got the baby blue hoodie yes i got it it's so adorable so this is i got this in a size medium and this was like the 30 dollars hoodie in baby blue this one is so rare to get um it sells out immediately but i'm so happy i got it i also got the same hoodie but in gray super cute this gray one is on the csu bookstore so if you want to buy it before your voyage you can or you can wait until you get to the store like me and then I got a yellow t-shirt because I'm a part of the yellow sea. Go yellow. Um, I'm not really happy to be wearing yellow, but I'm going to make it work. It's going to be as cute as I can make it. And then I also got the blue t-shirt because I just wanted to get another semester at sea t-shirt because like I said, I didn't have anything and I just wanted like a cute semester at sea t-shirt. So I got the blue one. And then last but not least, I got this Semester at Sea water bottle. And then on the other side, it has like the different levels of like the liters and stuff. So this is super cute. So now I'm just waiting to go to class at 10. I have Global Studies at 10. It's my first class. So I'm just going to wait until the time comes. And I'm going to change into like my blue sweatshirt and wear it and be so cool that I got it. I'm, I'm like, you guys don't understand. Like the bookstore, it goes so fast. And they the problem with the bookstore is they don't restock. Like once everything is gone, it's gone and you can never get it again. One thing they didn't have. Oh, I forgot too. The voyage map. I got the voyage map 
for our journey um, and at the end of the year or the semester everybody signs the maps so it's kind of like a little yearbook and they didn't have the voyage t-shirts and I think they don't have them because our itinerary might change so they didn't want to print it all out and then have it changed so the voyage shirts are coming later but I did get the map I just painted my nails for the very first time. Not bad considering, you know, I had to do it myself. As you can see, I got all my materials here. So I have to wait 30 minutes until Emery gets out of class again, out of her work and all that. I was walking downstairs from sitting outside and I ran into some friends and we said we were gonna go get dinner later at 18.30, which is military time because everything is military time on the ship. So I have dinner plans later and then the community fair thing is later where everybody makes their own clubs. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go sit in the library now I think and just chill up there for a while because my room is like kind of rocky on the side. It's really close to the front of the ship which is like not good if you're seasick. So I'm going to go up to the library and chill there. Hey guys, so it is the second day, it's B1. I wanted to continue recording this day because it's different than A days because now I have three classes instead of one. So I'm just out here on the pool deck. I have the first 10, not the first, I have the 10 a.m. global studies class. So that means that um, I have to wake up for breakfast at eight o'clock, even though I don't have class till 10 because breakfast ends at 8.30. So if I don't go, then I won't eat lunch. So I always have to wake up for that no matter what, which I kind of regret now. I wish that I had just like signed up for the 8.30 one because then I just have to do nothing for two hours. But then it allows me to like edit my videos. So I actually do like this time. And like when I have homework, I'm sure I'll be doing homework during this time as well. So I'm out here. I have no idea where we are right now, by the way. I think we are somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea because we're traveling to Greece right now. And we left Italy about two days ago. So we're pretty far along. But yeah, there's a little island back here. I don't know what it is. Normally we would know what it is, but like our TV is broken, so we can't really see where we are, but yay! Yesterday was a lot of fun because we got to do the club fair and I signed up for volleyball. We're doing um, Semester at Sea Assassin, like where you like try to like the game of tag essentially. And then I also signed up for the yoga club, but it's so cold out here. I'm wearing like a yoga fit right now and like I don't think I could do yoga when it's this cold because she said she's going to do it all outside and I'm like, mm, that's a little much. So we'll see. Hopefully like maybe like in a week it'll be warmer in Greece and then I'll be doing yoga then and I'll let you guys know if I do. And by the way, today I have theater food is medicine and global studies and then yesterday I had global studies and um, social problems which is psychology so if you guys are wondering what classes I'm taking those are the classes I'm taking just took my picture and I didn't smile because I was like well it's like 8 a.m. I don't really feel like smiling right now and I don't want to like make it look weird but I think I made it more weird than it had to be <laughs> here's my picture oh well I look like I'm so upset or something it's fine. <laughs> so now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the library and start editing this video because I have nothing to do. I didn't bring any books or anything because they didn't fit in my carry-on. So I need to find somebody that has a book that I can like read because the library is just full of textbooks and they don't have like reading books, which sucks. So I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> can see I had a really full day of classes so far and I still have one more but it's so cool because my classes are all like right on the water so like when you turn your head you just look and it's water so it definitely feels like I'm living a sweet life on deck I also just purchased a call card but it's not really working I think the lines might be full because every single time I try calling it doesn't get me to where I need to go so that's kind of annoying so I'm gonna try later because I want to like call my parents because I haven't really talked to them because I haven't been able to we only get seven minutes of wi-fi a day and it's really not even seven minutes it's like maybe two and a half so yeah so I want to figure that out so like I can call them through the phone and I won't have to use my wi-fi up for that but yeah um 
Also, my mouth and my tongue is so dry right now. We have these scoplamine patches, or however you pronounce that, and it makes your mouth so dry. Like, I can't even, like, describe it, but, like, I do not feel the best right now. Like, not sick-wise, but, like, my mouth is just so dry. Like, no matter how much water I drink, I feel like I've been in the desert for years. So, I'm gonna stop talking so I can rest my voice, and I'm just gonna, like, chill in my room until I have to go to my theater class, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Also, later tonight, they told us that there's gonna be a scavenger hunt, so I think me and my friends, we're gonna go do that. Um, there's a prize for the winner, so bring you guys along if I go. We're out here on the pool deck. Hurry! So long! In this long COVID line. So long. Like, why did they not put this inside? I don't know, but it's not fun out here. Pray for us that we don't test positive. We out here doing scavenger hunt. We're gonna get blown away. But we are gonna win, that's for sure. We have all of these that we need to find and we're first place, we so. We just need Victor. <laughs> Don't know who Victor is. So, there's a shout out. This was not time, but we do want to give a shout out for. I have to look with my glasses, sorry. Oh, sure. Oh, I didn't know it was. not time. So, they don't get an award for being quickest, but they did a shout out because they did a great job. So, they call themselves the FAS winners. Where are you? Are they here? <laughs> Wait, who is it? Can you say the names first? I'm gonna tell you who they are. Or do you want me to just draw? No, no, say who. You wanna know? Yeah. <laughs> so we have Victor's Search Party. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that was the end. Emery's laughing at me. <laughs> I have to address the elephant in the room before I start talking in my YouTuber voice. <laughs> so that was the end of our first day of classes, first day of school, both A day and B day. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing like what it was like to like live a day in our school lives here at the ship with no Wi-Fi. Um, it's very much off the grid to the extreme. So we have a lot of downtime. We try to fill that with fun things like we just did our scavenger hunt and I won bingo yay I don't know what I won I think it was a gift card for the pool bar which I'm so excited about um, but I just did it so easily I was running through the union and then we need to get bingo and I like jumped over like a chair to go get somebody to like sign off on my bingo so I was taking it very seriously as I should but anyways don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see more of or next, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.